Hello, and welcome to today's video on ProPresenter Scoreboard. My name is Andy, and today we'll be going over graphics. Graphics is this drop-down bin right here in your main interface. Over on the left-hand side, you will have playlists and folders. On the right-hand side will be content inside each of those playlists that can be played in any zone you wish. To create a new playlist, you hit this plus button down underneath your playlists and can create a new playlist. You can title that playlist whatever you want. I'm going to title this one Animations. Once you've selected that playlist, you can hit the plus button inside of it and add in a video or image. Go to your documents, find your animations or whatever content you're wanting to add in and hit open. All of the content that you've selected will come in. Now you have to tell the zone where you want to play content. I'm going to select the video zone. Once I've selected a zone, all I have to do to play the piece of content is click on it and it will go up and out to your board. Hit the clear graphics or the F3 key to clear graphics when you're done playing that piece of content. To edit the preferences for each piece of content, right click and go to your media inspector. This window here will go over all of the settings for each piece of content. It'll tell you your file type, your resolution, frame rate, and how long each piece of content is. You can adjust your end and out points for that piece of content. So say you have a long piece of content that you want to show just a short section of, you can select that here. Set a thumbnail so you know what that piece of content will look like down here in your bin. Or if you want to reset your in and out points to the full length, you can select reset in and out. If you go to properties, you can adjust your scaling options. Scale to fit will make sure that the content stays scaled properly, fits inside of whatever zone you have selected, but you may have some black bars on the left and right hand or top and bottom to make sure it fits in the zone properly. Scale to fill will make sure it's scaled fill the entire zone that you're, you have selected, but may cut off portions that fall outside that zone. And stretch to fill will make sure the entire content fits inside that zone, but may stretch the aspect ratio. You can flip the content horizontally or vertically if it comes in improperly. You can adjust your volume up and down to make sure it aligns with other pieces of content in that same playlist. Adjust your play rate if you're wanting to slow down or speed up a piece of content. And select behavior, whether it loops, stops, or goes to the next piece of content. Effects is going to be basically your Instagram filters. You can adjust, turn them on and off at will. There are other options with each of these as well. You can adjust your transitions per piece of content or transitions for the entire playlist. This is beneficial if you're running multiple advertisements wanting to go to the next piece of content. I can select this first piece of content and every 10 seconds it will go to the next piece. I can adjust that transition time by set go to next duration and it will give me a selection for how many seconds I want that piece of content to be up. I can do that per individual piece of content or across all pieces of content. To play it, all you have to do is single click on the piece of content you want to play. To clear, just hit the clear graphics button at the top. And that's it. It's that simple. Thank you for coming. And have a good day.